Hi, Scorpio. This is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Scorpio. What is it that you would like Scorpio to know during this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for Scorpio. Scorpio, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your comments and your subscriptions. I think that that's a wonderful way um, to help share good positive energy. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Scorpio. Thank you. Scorpio, a little bit about how these readings work or how my readings work. Um, usually we spend a lot of time looking at you your energy, uh, maybe the energy of the people, places, and things that are surrounding you. But I really do believe by understanding the energy that surrounds us, we are better, better able to manage and uh, manifest the life that we would like to manifest. And here we have judgment. And I could, uh, we could also refer to this as the karma coming into a time, coming into an energy of karma. How we can use karma to move into the future. Moving into the future using karma in our favor. Um, always remember, Pisces, the energy we put out is the energy we receive. What we put out into the universe is what we receive. And many times that's why I mention the comment section in my readings. Um, by putting good positive words, good positive energy out there, that is what we receive. And let's see how that plays into the rest of our reading. And here we start off with the lover's card, which is... Um, partnerships, relationships, friendships, um, togetherness, um, commitments. And then we have judgment, which is another karma card. Another karma card. Turning points, adjustments, and the queen of pentacles a deeper appreciation, a deeper gratitude, wondering if what we put out, or what, wondering if the energy that we're putting into something is worth the energy that we are receiving back. I think that at this time, Scorpio, you're going through many different turning points or many different changing points in your life and you're feeling that it is time for you to expand and that this is your time to start or to finish something finish creating something. You want to create, you want to start, you want to finish something. Maybe writing a book, starting a blog, have you've been wanting to put your energy into something but you have not and you're coming to a point where again it's being brought back up or you're having those feelings 
of wanting to create, wanting to expand, wanting to start, or wanting to finish this creative project. You have experienced something very uniquely. Some, you have an experience that is very unique to you. How you how you interpret it or how you are interpreting this situation is unique. And this uniqueness or the unique way in which you express this situation that has occurred or your unique point of view on this situation needs to be shared or you're feeling a need to share i don't know i don't know if it's uh public speaking again writing blogging but how you choose to express this that has happened to you will be successful how you choose to express what has happened to you will be successful you know and it may be just that how you choose to express a situation your unique point of view how you choose to express that uh, with uh, close family close friends with co-workers even in a conversation your unique point of view does need to be put out there and i think that you know that and that you see that this is something, a point of view that can only be brought to the table by you. And then we have the Knight of Wands, Passion Fire, Queen of Cups, Lack of Interest. New journey, new found appreciation. New beginnings, fresh starts. I, I often call this my get out of jail free card. Uh, if we look closer at what's going on to this couple here, um, you know, many readers, when they see this, they'll automatically uh, talk about marriage and uh, commitments and things. But it really is about a fresh start, a new beginning. I think that there is a past situation here, a past situation here that you're being confronted with that you're being asked to look at um, perhaps it's a unaddressed family issues unaddressed family dynamics um, feelings of jealousy feelings of obsessions um, odd desires odd wants But whatever happens or whatever comes up with these unaddressed issues, be open and be honest with everyone involved. Spirit has been preparing you for this time. Spirit has been preparing you for the opening of this can of worms, for the 
uh, experiencing this. It's almost like something happened in the past that you were not allowed to experience. But now you are going to be allowed to experience. And now that you're being allowed to experience, you are being allowed to experience this at this time because you are ready, because Spirit has been preparing you. And by being open, honest, and ready with everyone involved, you will break free from the past. Spirit wants you to know you are ready. Justice, again, in your favor. And it is only by addressing this situation that you will be able to move forward. Knowledge is power. Wisdom. The end. The beginning. The strength. Scorpio, your future is filled with hope and expansion. Give yourself priority. Place your energy into things and hobbies that will bring joy and things that will tap into your creativity. Talk with Spirit. Spirit is listening. Spirit has the answers. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Scorpio. Thank you, Scorpio. You have a blessed week.